you do a lot of dumb stuff. A lot. And I'm not talking about tattoos. I'm not talking about drinking or smoking spice. I'm not talking about none of that stuff. I'm talking about really dumb stuff when you have a lot of time on your hands. This is JC, Wrong Strong. You know me, keep it real, 100. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell. You know, uh, you know this channel is about everything. Prison, PTSD, depression, working out. Just real, real stuff. You know, for my life and, and what, what I'm going through now that I've been now for three years and uh, building what I'm building. So if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe now, hit the bell button and, and follow my journey. I'm about to tell you some dumb stuff I did because I had too much time on my hands. Corazón, stay in your lane, don't judge nobody, give somebody a hug. Hey, so when you have too much time on your hands, you do a lot of dumb stuff. And I'm the poster child for making bad decisions. I'm the poster child for... Uh, not living a, a, a life of... Alright, so what do you get when you get duct tape, a prison toothbrush shank, a small shampoo bottle, a razor blade, and a domino? Hmm. If you've been to prison, especially federal prison, it's called a pearl. So, of what I know, nobody's talked about this on any prison channel. So I'm gonna lay it down. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so, what they do in federal prison and you know, and it's mostly the, the, the paisas that handle this business. They're the ones that are really good at it, but they'll get a domino, right? And they'll, you know, sand it down to whatever shape you want. Whether it's a Playboy bunny, a diamond, a pearl, whatever shape you want, they'll sand it down to that. And they'll make it that. They're very creative. And I have to make, when I make my prison, you know, video about worst prisoners to do time with, Mexico edition, you guys will see what I mean. They're very, very creative. They make a lot of stuff out of nothing. So, what they do is they sand down the domino, create a whatever you want, Playboy, money sign, pearl, diamond, I went with the pearl. The pearl being just a pearl, just like it sounds, round, all the way around. And what happens is that they uh, put it in your private part. Can I say that? They put it in your private part. That means you know what that means. So, I'm gonna tell you a story about how I almost lost my, yeah. So, you know, I was ready. Everybody was doing it in there. I was like, you know, I wanna be ready for the ladies when I get out. I wanna have, you know, a Playboy bunny. I wanna have a pearl. I wanna have this, I wanna have that. Maybe I'll get seven, maybe I'll get six. Maybe I'll get two, one on top, one on the bottom. And 
and you know I seen my my cellmate get one and it looked very very painful so I was like huh. but I still made the dumb decision to want to get one this is where I make my video you know so I'm not glamorizing nothing that I've done nothing prison all that shit's for the birds I'm sharing these videos so you don't make the dumbass decisions that I made and yeah please okay so I decided to get a pearl he gets everything ready ready domino gets shaped into a pearl toothbrush gets made into a shank shampoo bottle is ready razor blade is ready to go and duct tape is ready to go so you know I'm standing on the bed holding on to dear life <laughs> and I have you know this guy grabbing my penis and yeah not on no gay stuff but yeah so he grabs my skin pulls it over the shampoo bottle the little the little hole pulls it over right holds it in place and tells me to take a deep breath I'll never forget this shit. I take a deep breath. He takes the toothbrush shank and pops my fucking skin through that fucking shampoo bottle. I felt like I got just shot with a fucking AK-47. My, my knees buckled. I grabbed onto the bed. I He told me not to look down. I looked down and there was blood everywhere. I started to feel lightheaded and I just, I held on and I was like, I gotta do this, I'm a gangster, I'm a G, I gotta do this. So then, he's trying to put the pearl in, right? The pearl don't fit, it's too big tells me to hold on he needs to grab the razor blade now he's gonna have to cut my skin to get it to fit do you see where I'm going with this shit this is what I mean you got too much time on your hands you're gonna make some dumbass decisions some people get some dumbass tattoos some people get some do some dumbass drugs I got a pearl. Cause I don't regret my tattoos. My tattoos actually look really good. But that's another video. Anyways, he had to cut me to open up the wound bigger with the razor blade. Do you know how that felt when that razor blade was cutting through my penis? Yes. It was bad. It was really bad. Finally, he got the pearl in. He put it in. I was bleeding all over the place. I was grabbing onto the beds. I felt like I was going to pass out. And it was the worst fucking day of my fucking life. Okay? The next part just messed me up, like, mentally. He grabbed the piece of duct tape and just put it over the wound, duct taped it up, and that's it, the surgery was over. I didn't know that they had doctors inside the penitentiary. They have doctors in front, inside the federal penitentiary. Do you believe that? This is how smart the inmates are. Yeah. And, you know, a day passed by, two days passed by, my 
penis look like I have grabbed my my cell door and just put it there and just beat the shit out of it with the door. It, that's how it looked. It was purple, blue. It was every color you could possibly think of. And to me, it looked like I was freaking dying. I was worried. Very, very worried because I was getting ready to come home. And if I came home without a penis, it was going to be bad. And, <laughs> you know, I laugh about it now, guys. But it was a really dumb fucking decision for me to think that that was a good decision. That that was something that I needed to do, especially in a fucking side of a prison. So... I went to go see the nurse because I was scared. You know, I made the appointment, the nurse seen me, and she actually laughed. She said, hmm, you're one of them dumb inmates that decided to put a pearl in your penis. And I was like, yes, I'm one of those. She's like, you're lucky it's not infected, but it is pretty beat up. So I would suggest you leave it alone, wash it with soap, and look out for it. Take care of it, she said. I got some ibuprofen for the pain and a smile and a laugh because I was one of those guys. Because this happens pretty regularly in federal prison. People decide to get pearls in their penises. And they get infected. They end up going to the emergency room. And yeah. So me being who I am. JC. Wrong to strong. Keeping it real. I had to share this man. I had to share this because hopefully... Not hopefully, but somebody that might be going to do some time or something won't make this dumbass decision. Trust me, it's not worth it. And at the end of the day, it's not all it's cut out to be. If you do want to do that, get it done outside by a professional. Okay? Hey, I know I'm a clown. I know I keep it real. JC, don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug, stay in your lane. And like I said, man, I always keep it real. You guys are my family. You guys are my everything. I love you guys. Wrong strong is a lifestyle, not a choice. Corazón.